Good kitten internet. We yeah. are back. After oh so, like, what, five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still... more than that. It took three minutes to steep the tea. Mm, you're right. Okay, ten minutes. Yeah, something like that. Thunderstorms and lightning. Very, very frightening to the dead wait, colonists. Wait. That ship was not there yeah, it was. when I... Oh, when you were here. Yeah. That ship was definitely there when... Um, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. There was a crashed ship. Sam wants to talk, but I cannot enter the ship. Hmm. wonder if it counts as a crashed um, ship. Time's right. I appreciate the chat. All right, let's stop. Yeah, sorry if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Lillian and me, uh, tried talking with her and I lost my cool. Got a little heated. I know I woke Cora up. How's Cora feel about all this, anyway? Well, up until a few years ago, she kept hoping we'd get back together. I mean, Lillian and I stayed married longer than we should have for Cora's sake. But we really weren't doing Cora any favors then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I happen to know that particular experience. Um, but on a small ship, everyone hears everything. Well, that statement's gonna keep me up at night, like everything, everything. <laughs> Just so you know, there's a long, uh, proud tradition of singing in the shower. I have showers uh, on our ship. Lillian, she's an incredible woman, truly. But it is always, and I mean always, about the job. When she bleeds, Three star colors spill out. That's Back when I was a ranger, mm -hmm. we were quite the team. No, I think we're quite the item too. Oh, don't worry, you're in a category all your own. What was I? Yeah. But one day, <laughs> I was just done. No particular reason. It had been building for a long time. She so tried to convince Lillian to leave it behind, come with me. She shot me down, hard. Hurt my pride more than a little. She was probably right. Did you even consider it? Not for a second. And she's right. Lillian is where she's meant to be. She always wants to fight the good fight. And the Rangers are lucky to have her. I remember right, I have met Lillian on my other character. I mean, if you were that unhappy, you did do the right thing. Yep. Uh, we were making each other miserable. And that wore on poor Cora, too. It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting Cora in too much danger traveling with you. I told her what you told me, that Cora is just blossoming with all this. With Sarah, you, heck, even Walter. I just know Cora has futures I could never dream of. But Lillian... Not so much a fan of you. That kind of set me off. Why did you get together with Lillian in the first place, anyway? Late night stakeouts, shootouts with a lot of leftover adrenaline. Well, we were never lacking in chemistry. Compatibility, on the other hand. Sorry, it caused an argument. No, nah, don't be. It's always something. Cora's been stood up a time or two by Lillian. Always for the best reasons. Last time I think, Lillian got a medal for it. But at a certain point, Lillian's excuses don't matter. Poor Cora cried for a week. I don't want to put her through that again. You should tell Lillian that, though. Because she might not be aware of that she's um if I do that y'all might want to invest in some industrial strength earplugs and for now Lillian's going straight to voicemail so everyone can sleep easy hey so anyway uh what the heck happened here other than lots of dead things that much is obvious Better we get it than someone else. 
I'll put labs. Is it puppies? Yeah, it's the uh, cereal. Oh, right. I mean, that's an obvious entrance. What the hell knocked them over? Oh, not good. No, this does not look good at all. On with the bloom, Bethesda. Thank you. Well, there's obviously a computer I need to hack. That's, uh, fresh. And there's still salvage to be had. It's not good. Yeah. This is more something bad has happened, not... Somebody raided them. New Atlantean 01. The deep food item. I know it's the deep food item, but nope, the deep food item. I can make deep food with abyssal flavors. Why would I want to know? Yeah, it's really not any good or yeah. useful, but. All right, I suppose time to find out what actually happened. Kyle Gourmet, vision statement. Since the dawn of the agrarian revolution 10,000 plus years ago, humanity has been trying to speed up the process of growing food and getting it onto plates. But that's always come at the cost of quality and led to horrific practices like industrial farming, which leads to corners cut and ultimately a worse product. And we've all grown, just accepted it. We live in a freeze-dried age, but we don't have to. Tao Gourmet is going to change that. We're going to make fresh food cheap and available everywhere. We are going to let our livestock and crops grow as nature intended, and use smart automation to harvest and prepare them at the peak of freshness, and deliver them with such speeds our client won't ever go back to using freeze-dried again. It's a big task, and accomplishing it will take is going to take focus, innovation, and dedication. Are you up for, to the challenge of changing how the Settled Systems eats? Then let's get started. I'm not going to read all of this out loud because I'm going to start having voice problems. Hey, look, they're encouraging breaks. Even though they're asking people to do way too much work. Mm hmm. It looks like there were five people here, including the owner. And it was Maria's turn on watch. And Lambert is the only one who has firearm certification. Uh huh. So that's not. Good. All right, you can turn back on your balloon, Bethesda. a dead robot. Ouch. I just heard a terror morph. I don't think it was a terror. There's a crash ship. Maybe yep. that's what you were seeing before? Yep. Hmm, mm, authentic manifold. Grab here is one? How boring. Yes, but where 
Oh, random camouflage military vessel going through with a turret on top. Sorry, distracted by outdoors. Um, where did the voice come from? It sounded like it was a recording. Yeah, it was over the PA system. Okay. A lot of blood. And scratches. I'm almost certain that's Terramorph. I think the UC quest line might be dealing with Terramorphs. Mm -hmm. Just a hunch. Like that's a survivor. Adrian. So what do we got here? Not too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? You'll make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. Uh, are you okay? Oh, I've been better. But I think bleeding out is at least off the table. What I really need, though, is someone who knows their way around a weapon. So, if you wanted to tell me, I'm heavy infantry and I've come to bring you the gift of ordnance, <laughs> I wouldn't mind in the least. Tempting. Uh, the Vanguard actually did send me, but they didn't mention how bad Vanguard, things were. Huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? Yep. Yeah. The work of Oxisio Machina. A terror morph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. A terramorph here? That is Thanks, very, Vanessa. very bad news. Are all the settlers dead? I managed to scope out a fair bit of the facility before it found me. If there are any survivors of the attack, they're long gone. The shame. Um. Terramorphs have a unique growth cycle. They're usually only found on worlds that have been long colonized by humanity. But Tau said he's too young to have one. Yet here it is. Uh. I came looking for an explanation and found all this. That lends credence to your theory. Which one? That Terramorphs used to be human. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, there is a second theory I have, which is they're ripping off more of aliens than they wanted to initially claim. That is, Terramorphs are breeding inside of humans. And Chestburster happens. Um, uh, sounds like you can use my help. I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm going to need a tissue sample from it. And to get that... I need its corpse. Welp. But there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant security system. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. The apostrophe's in the yeah, spot. I also... Or not at all there. Um, you're not coming with me? Admin access is centralized to the terminal in this room. Nothing's you're gonna die. If I'm not here. Just saying. But even if that weren't the case, I'd likely be more of a liability out there than I, I have Sam with me. I could have Sam be here. Mm. I would go out there, and you could be back on my ship getting healed by Vasco. Just saying. What can you tell me about the security system? outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few appear to be in fighting shape. There were also some sensors scattered around the facility that I didn't recognize. <laughs> Did not mean to click through that. Well, let me... The settlers outfitted most... But those are honestly all just educated guesses. It's the building in the middle of the facility. The terminal in there should allow you to grant me access. 
then we can see about getting things back online. All right, let's get it online. Right. Once I see the connection reset, take care of yourself, Ellie, and make sure you leave enough of that thing. That's not going to be a problem. As you're kicking a box around. Just some mines sitting here, hint, hint. You know, as you do. Oh, Frankenstein. All right, time to do the dumb. Oh, center. I did not boost high enough. Oh, your pack recharge is so Yes, because I don't have any. I think I have one, just the ba boost pack perk and nothing else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't get up there with this boost pack at least. Had 3%, which meant it had stuff on it. Yeah, but sometimes they glitch and they like 6% and there's nothing in it. Really? I have not seen that happen yet. Especially when they're just built. Why do I get the feeling that I am... Um wanting to go down here instead. Oh, well, this might be a one way. Like this is the exit. Uh, Bethesda, can I have my lights back, please? Nope. Apparently not. From what I remember, I never figured out how to open that door, but you can get to both sides of it. That's actually blast. Hmm. I mean, we're in agreement, right? We are. The turrets, probably. Possibly. Uh, we're in agreement, though, that the alien is totally either going to stalk us from here, or the alien is going after the survivor, right? Or the Xenom or Terraform. I don't know. I haven't done this quest. You don't have to do the quest to know the tropes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this option I didn't have because I wasn't on the quest. Power halt detected. Offline. Equipment drop. Couple predators. Turrets delivered. Actually, this part I could read the logs. Mm. Things draw a lot more power than expected. He said. Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plants turrets took a beating. But I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right stuff. into a crossfire. Yes. Hello. I wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. <sighs> but it's not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to free range. Well, everybody got their hearing back, so now we can try again. Is it 183.5? Yep.
Tracker's reading green. What's that sound? Security lockdown is active. Shit. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing and get in cover. It's on the move. Yep. I can fight the them. Lines. They're set up but need power. There's breakers on each of the buildings There's you can you throw access. to get them live. Once they're online, lead the Terramorph towards the lights and watch the fireworks. Give it hell, Vanguard. Oh yeah, the beeps to tell you how to uh -huh. close this. Forty-three meters. Going away from me. Closer. Coming closer. Uh, notice the red. Eighteen meters. There it is. Nope. <laughs> Not getting kill lanes like that. Let Sam deal with it. He's immortal. It's breaking the or it might not be a total force. I don't know. This next one, they have a possible nine, nine meters. meters. Hi. It found another door. Why are all my weapons terrible? When will you like drop a mine or something when you have distance? Maybe not right now because. Yeah, but I should at least throw mines as. I am. Hmm. There's of course the danger that. It'll catch up fast enough where you will be in the blast. It sees me still. Well, this is tracked by someone. Oh, me! No, that's. Yeah, that is the same one. You said 30 meters! Yeah, but it burrows. Freaking I, terror morphs! I saw the red tape on your compass suddenly appear behind you. Uh huh. It burrowed again. Three meters. Oh, it's frozen. So it's time, but. Don't care. Please tell me I have a better weapon than this. Good enough. Yes, I know that I'm injured and frozen myself. Doesn't do much damage. Damn it, I got in range still. Grit! See right, Jenkins! Lap. The spice must flow. 
Yeah, that they only appear on worlds that have been colonized. Almost as if there's some way of turning a human into a Terramorph. Or ultimately the Terramorphs are coming with the humans. Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... Here's your loot. Wait. You did it, didn't you? Evidence above, you just flatlined a Terramorph. Technically it's the second one I've done. Wait, no, that wasn't with this character. Mm -hmm. This is the first one with this character. I believe the words you're looking for are thank you for saving my ass. I'm not too proud. Thank you for saving my ass. <laughs> you didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's just mean. All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Oh, you're going to analyze it here. To the bottom of this. Because, you know, there can't possibly be more than one Terramorph. Also, I saw that weapon. What weapon? She switched into a weapon. I mean, she does have a weapon. She just didn't want to use it. Which, fair. It was injured. Yes. I Brought everything that. useful. Mm, meat processing. It's a research thing. Yes. Uh, older model. I, I have a research station on my ship, you know. Running basic diagnostics? Nothing. Maybe a flag scan? No. Spectrograph. Damn. This equipment, it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this Terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. She's right. Everyone's got theories about them, but no one has the answer. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. So... Tell Seti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. Yeah, if someone had the resources to capture a Terramorph and they would have take a resources to be able to get it rid of would the just gun them down. Yeah. Much easier. Mm-hmm. I forgot to set a timer, so I'm going to quickly see. We have been playing for roughly half an hour. Did I see the edge of the green screen? Yes. Yep, dang it. We must have bumped it slightly. Set an alarm for thirty minutes. Really? Set a timer for 30 minutes. Good enough. Okay. So, doesn't that mean that New Atlantis should have Terramorphs, along with Aquila City? Both of those are easily more mm -hmm. than 70 Russian, years old. At least. I'll give you that. Don't no one know how they get well, on there. I'm not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing 
is a question no one's ever found an answer to. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. Yep, I can see that. Yeah, I have found terramorphs on uh, Burma too. They have. They even took down an entire city once. A place called Londinian had to be quarantined due to a massive outbreak during the colony war. It's the only known loss of that scale, but it's the reason why any change in our relationship with these creatures needs to be taken very seriously. Sounds like we have to do something quick. You're right. We just need more information first. Time was I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Yeah, I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors, see if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Yeah. Clear with you your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. You with the UC military too? I was. Long time ago. Family tradition. Yeah. But I know some of the folks from my old unit moved to the I remember the seeing Vanguard. the name Sanan someplace. Couple even owe me favors. If I'm lucky, I know. your commander is one of them. Like, I think it was in the... Um, whatchamacallit? Um, the little thing that we had to go through prior to the um, training stuff. The hall that showed the history of things. Where it showed the three people who were executed at the end of the colony war. Yeah. I believe one of them had a family name of Sanan. Hmm. Yeah, I'll make sure my commander uh, agrees. You don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I oh, heard boy. he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. Yep. Bar I've been there. by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here. It's not exactly a bounty, but you certainly deserve them. Should cover the cost to fuel to Mars, at least. But fuel's free because Bethesda no, never implemented it. With your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. 1,800 credits. Okay. I would like to have to pay fuel costs and make sure I don't run out somewhere. I really hope break. that's going to be a part of survival mode. Yeah. Going right. My brain just skipped over it. But yeah, when I saw the thunderstorm, my immediate thought was, there's a terraform here, isn't there? Terrible breathing ground. Is it? Well, it's in a room. Oh, yeah, they sound very similar. Well, if I have to make a guess, this is the larval form of the terramorph. It might be. Heat leeches might also be a larval form of the terramorph, which would explain a lot of things. Mm. Given how often heat leeches are everywhere. Anyway, just doing a quick walk through of a couple of places because i found those caves that look like they're pipes with eggs and such and they have the same sound mm. i have not encountered such things myself doesn't mean that they're hard to find or anything just i haven't encountered them oh hey look the sun's come out 
Ow. Also, my ship is the other direction. You can I can just fast travel. I don't like... I think fast travel is too easy to do in this game. Like, I can go straight to the Mass District. Mm -hmm. That's boring. Yeah, I like there's, to at least go with my ship and take off. Yeah, there's no chance of random encounters this way or anything like I really that. I never visited here before I joined Constellation. But it does save a lot of time when you've already done it several times. Yes, but... I don't know. It's kind of like they went too far in the other direction and well, made everything back. fast travel. All mm -hmm. set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the Vanguard whenever you're ready. Well, first I need your permission to deliver a Terramorph tissue sample to Mars. A Terror? What? How did you walk away with a Terramorph tissue sample running contrary? <laughs> what happened to the settlers? Um... The thing that ate the settlers and nearly ate me wasn't really interested in the repairs. It's... what? That... that's a hell of a probationary <laughs> issue. It's some serious grit to make it through an experience like that. Above and Beyond doesn't really begin to describe it now, does it? No. You earned yourself some serious hazard <laughs> on this one. But... That happens. Uh, none of the settlers made it. Who's got you delivering the sample? You know some crazy alien scientist? Because she said you might recognize her name. No, nope. her name is Hadrian. Here, she said I should show you this. Hadrian. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data's been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as... Co-head of a UC Xeno Weapons Division. Faced tribunal at the end of the Colony War. And was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno Warfare, though, well, we can at least be sure she knows her aliens. What the heck is Xeno Warfare? In the run-up to the Colony War, the UC started the program with a I mean, I know the answer because we the had to. the most terrifying aliens in the galaxy have them fight on the side of the UC. Never saw any of the deployments myself, but the program was clearly enough of a success that when the war came to an end 20 years ago, both sides agreed to have the practice banned, at which point, I presume, this tribunal decided to cut Sinan loose. Ooh, me helping this woman? Notation says that Sinan already faced punishment for her actions during the war. Dismissal from the UC military. Her sending you to me first makes me think she's actually trying to do this above board. Considering her history, reaching out to the UC probably wasn't the easiest decision. Which means that must be a pretty important sample. Uh, Xena Warfare doesn't sound good. I'm sure she doesn't list it at the top of her resume. But considering her service record and her area of expertise, I'm not seeing a reason to think this request is anything other than genuine. Did your survivor, Hadrian, did she mention why she thinks this sample uh, is so special? Yeah. She's afraid that there could be more attacks like the one that wiped out the people of Tau Ceti too. She thinks there could be more of these? This uh, has been one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. I did actually have another mission lined up for you, supporting UC system defense against the Crimson Fleet. Now I guess you have two options on how to proceed. Head to the UC Vigilance and help out SysDef, or deliver that sample. I'll make sure you've got the proper clearances for either path. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. Ooh. You'll be clear yep. for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, Suggest you move out. Every time I get near mast, I think you're gonna arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> get him, boys. Okay. With a whole bunch of new mission stuff. 
Look at your new items. Yeah, that's what I meant to do, but I got distracted. Uh, that's a strictly better spacesuit, other than the lack of enchantments. That boost pack is worse than what I currently have. The helmet is worse than what I currently have. And I have butter. You picked that up. Yeah, I know. What does the Terramorph cell sample look like? I think I found that. It looks like poop in a jar. Anyway, um, yeah. Also, you gave me a crap ton of weight. So, um, oh, I've been officially given the deep cover quest now. Ah, so you can get it without mm -hmm. being caught. caught. That's good to know. Uh, for those that may not remember, be although that was this character, yep. Um, when I got caught smuggling in contraband by accident because it was already on my ship, they gave me this deep cover quest. It's the same quest. It's just now, I don't have to be under arrest for it, which is a good thing. Yeah, this time you're not being pressured into it. Yes. Well, I have a couple of reasons to go to Sidonia. Where's the other... Like... That's the only UC quest that I see right now. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, no. Yeah, Derp. that's the trade authority in... on... in Sidonia. So I have a couple of Sidonia quests. I think we're going to Mars. Yep. I think we need to get our ass to Mars. Yep. But first... I'm going to my starship, then leaving my starship. Nice to be back. Because I want to see what the improved things are. Also, I have a couple of things I need to sell. Oh, right, you still have no money. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always fun. Sure, how about it? So, what do you actually have? Or Tempest. So, a missile launcher. I'll have to compare with Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projector. That sounds like a turret. Every, anything with auto in the name is usually mm -hmm. not controlled by you. Those are the only two Vanguard weapons I see. How is it compared to my missile launcher? Strictly better. Although, the missile stat's lower. Hmm. Weird. But it takes up less weight. So you're but it also to... takes up a lot more power. Yeah. Standard obliterator auto projector is... Yeah, less than... But... No, it's a particle beam. Hmm. I like particle beam. Very partial to me. What's their advantage less they should disadvantage? Uh, they damage both shields and hull. Okay, so that would be instead of having the laser? Yeah, I usually have them instead of laser, but... Well, now I'm curious. It would take more power to fully power up. But it does a lot more hull and shield damage than my existing laser. Really wish I can compare the two, but, you know, you can't do that easily. Because this is 6 hull, 18 shield. And this is 22 hull, 22 shield. With a higher range. I think I'm just going to equip it. I have the money. Do you have a better cannon for me? That one is a better cannon. In every way. 
Yeah, but you're hitting the problem of not being able to fully power on your systems. Yeah, I know. I already have that problem. And I even upgraded my reactor. Almost the Class A ships are kind of garbage. How can I be well, class A reactors. Uh, well, the reactor expansion. makes the ship. Yeah. Your ship smells so much better than Dad's. Like a lot. That's because I keep cleaning it, and by cleaning it, I mean before I do anything. Let's drop off the heavy things that I was just given. Well, I guess that wise it isn't any better than what I have. Oh. Grand Grand's helmet's just going into storage. Look at the value of that. Okay. Hey Dad, wanna hear a joke? Uh, sure, sweet pea. The old man could always use a laugh. Okay. Who can jump higher than a skyscraper in New Atlantis? Um, I don't know. Who? Everybody! Skyscrapers can't jump! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good one, Cora. <laughs> hey, next time you see Barrett, try it out on him. <laughs> Cora's adorable. I'm oh, going away. Like, my main motivation factor for romancing Sam is... Orbit achieved. Cora? Yep. Yes, that's the reason why I've mostly decided on that. Alright. So, this is the way my ship seems to be. I am one power off of being able to have everything maxed out other than grab. Which means that this is actually a fairly decent loadout for fighting. In my mind. Mm -hmm. Which just means something. That, that, that's what it means in every language. Time to get our ass to Mars. Back to Mars? Yep. Impatient, are you? There's no reason to wait when I don't have to, right? actually landed on the launch pad? That doesn't make any sense. It's the old launch pad. Mm. Quite a bit away from the Oh, right. Well, I can always fast travel. That's not even a launch pad. That's just it on Mars. No life signs nearby. Just another dead rock. It, it's, it, it's Mars. It's not that far away. It's less than far away. Yeah. Yeah, on, uh, on paper, Mars is what I like to call a stupid lead world. The only solid resource being lead. Or the only resource you mine, but... 
That doesn't show up on the scan. But, and it can only be found on the surface of Mars. There are no veins of it, so you can't extract it. You have to mine it manually. Yes, I realized that. What? What? Why? This Mars is special. No, it isn't. Earth's the weird special one. Special features you discovered. Yeah. Right. I didn't even land at the old landing pad. No, you landed outside it. But I told it to, whatever. Well, if there are enemies there, I don't know. I'd hate to live my whole life in a bubble. Really me? still haven't really came far. Nope. Almost as though trying to tame a planet that doesn't have any atmosphere is a bad idea. You have to terraform it. And that would take for freaking ever with our current technology. How many hours since Lost Incident now? It's further in. Oh, it's further in? Okay. Thought it was up there. 436. That's good. The last two or three right. times I've been in Stonia, the counter has been at zero. Ah, it's so like, something just happened. Got it. Yeah. So, for reference, if you shoot somebody in Sidonia, the counter resets to zero. Um, we have. So, that's Trade Authority. We also have... Delivering the letter for Scotty. Yes. Oh, that's an actual quest. Reporting it? Yeah. We're doing that first. Yeah, because delivering the letter is more important than... Not many places. Terramorph research. Exactly. It's a Bethesda game. The Terramorphs can wait. Industrialize Mars, your civilization needs you. What have you been warned about? Yes. Oh, that's a Crimson Fleet recruitment. Yeah. Well, given how crappy the uh, conditions are here, I sort of understand it. Red and orange, everything. Red and orange, as far as the eye can see. It can start to wear on you. I have a pen pal in New Atlantis. We've never met in person, but she's still one of my best friends. Yes, I'm aware. Still doing things by hand, huh? I keep telling her she needs to act her age, not the stone one. But some people think being difficult builds character. Oh, well. I'm being stared at by that person in the back. I hope this doesn't mean... You look like you've seen a ghost. No, not quite. Ah, uh, she's dying. The way this reads, I don't have much time. I need to go see her. If she's really on death's door, then this could be my only chance. Thank you for bringing me this. That's a lot of money for giving you a letter. Yeah. Just saying. I'm not even that high of a level. Peace be with you. Faith in the greatness and ingenuity of the human spirit is what helped us spread among the stars. Anyway, Mark. I'm not here to do other quests at the moment. You should do the space plant thing. The oh, space? Uh, walk around Excuse the uh, residential section. I can't remember if it's in here or... If you know anyone in need of food or shelter, please send them. Offer a great opportunity for people who don't wish to deal with the trade authority. Just pass. Hi, welcome to James. Sidonia's only 100% independent one-stop shop. No, it isn't. 
I apologize if I'm a little distracted. Uh -huh. I'm currently dealing no. with a little issue, but please let me know if there's anything I can get for you. Yep, that's me on the sign, Jane. I operate one of the few independent, non-franchise businesses in Sidonia. I've scrimped and saved for years to build up my little shop. Literally, when I started, it was barely a kiosk, and I was selling loose machine parts, scrap metal, bottled water, whatever I could get my hands on. And my hope, one day, is to keep expanding to other planets. I've already got a small logistics subsidiary in the works for shipping cargo. So, there's a quest that has you go to a shop in Sidonia for the Ryujin Industries quest line. Mm -hmm. That was not affiliated with anybody. Why didn't you just open a shop on Mars of all places? Lick of options, I suppose. I was born on Mars. I never knew my mom. She left when I was little. My dad took good care of me, but he died when I was 14, so I had to fend for myself. Those years were the hardest. The shop began as a way to survive. And it's been successful, so I've stayed with it. Aren't the UC supposed to take care of their citizens? Yes. Oh yeah, I can help. You have no idea. Every time I feel like I'm getting ahead, something happens to knock me back down. But unless you're some sort of merc, I'm not... See, I saved up to get a new ship and hire a pilot. He was supposed to help run deliveries and bring in all sorts of new goods. I can't find anyone willing to track him down. Can you call Sister for something? If all else fails, I'm probably going to. But that ship? I bought it from a sketchy dealer because it was all I could afford. Mm. Seemed too good to be true. So, you. I think I'll do it. Really? I mean, thank you. I know it's a lot of trouble, but it... I'll try to compensate you as best I can when you bring the back the Berry Eric and my Mule? Ship. It's a cargo runner called the Berry Mule. The last signal I got from him was out near Triton. It's a starting place, at least. A bit distant, but okay. And try to bring them both back in one piece. That was like Crimson Keep a lookout. Notify us if you see anything suspicious. I only have about three minutes before the timer goes off, by the way. Please clock. Ah, oh, yes, the standard mining detonations. You look like you're high. Central hub area. To avoid injury. Is Mars treating you well? In the belly of the beast. Kinda drilled into me young the Marines are the boogeyman. Yeah, this seems to be the barracks. Yep. Uh, I would agree with that assessment. But the real question... No. My buddy Mitch keeps asking if I can help him out with something, but I just don't have the time. What's the point of being at Mars if you can't flip the toilet paper? Called the Narcissus. So, yeah, I definitely think it's a vanity purchase. Definitely. Seriously, what do they even need a ship for? There's so many other things you can buy with those credits. Hey! <laughs> Haven't seen you around here before. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Word gets around, I guess. <laughs> well, well, if you, you don't creep world, me out, then maybe you can help. I found out recently that my favorite book series, Dragon Star Force, had a very limited initial run. That's the I nightmare. really want to collect all the first editions, but it's hard for me to get them shipped all the way out here. I already tracked down volume one. Could you go buy it and bring it back here for me? I I'll pay you back, of course. Plus, you know, extra for your trouble. What are the books about? They're these old science fiction fantasy books about space and uh, good versus evil and a mysterious magical relic called 
the Dragon Star. Dragon Star? Yeah, there's this team of heroes who fight space wizards, and dragons, demons, and you know, whoever else seeks to take over the galaxy using the Dragon Star. Eh, sure, why not? Well, wow, you're the first person to actually agree to do it. But thanks. Well, like I said, I'll make it worth it to you. I mean, you're literally asking me to just buy you a book. Well, the pay is great, the people are good, and I get to work with explosives. <laughs> <laughs> I get to work with explosives. Uh, ending the recording? The you told me I needed to pick up something. Yeah, but it's not here. Uh, I'm not sure if I remember exactly where. I told me there was a mini map. Not to be fair, for Sidonia, it probably wouldn't help that much anyway. No. Don't want to catch yourself. But I suppose I should stop here. I think I know the way from the central hub. Oh, I'm in the central hub. Okay, up. Up those stairs. Okay. And then to the right. Maybe the next right. Or, oh. Maybe that one or... No, maybe the... No, I was just going to going show you... Oh, there you see affiliated. Okay. Yep. That's what I was referring to. I think maybe in here? No. That's the medical. Ah. Just because the governor's office is right there on the main level doesn't mean that's back into residential. Uh, is there an equivalent on the other side? So I'm pretty sure it was something. Trade like authority, that. which is where I need to go anyway. Careful and off the governor levels. general. I'm pretty sure it is in the residential. I want to finish this up while you're still remembering. Mm -hmm. Because we won't remember by the time next time runs around. But this is just the entrance that I went in originally. I'm telling you, Centauri Mills is the way to go. Stock up on the discount stuff. Oh. You can get a food shop for like a month. Oh. Wasn't there another passage, not just the door? No. I seem to remember there being... Huh. No? No. Ooh, wait. Next to the... Oh. Apartment. Yeah, there's a... There's a con condominium section. I think it's further up. Checking your filtration units every two weeks. For only faulty or improperly fitted here. Okay, that's demo star yards. No, definitely not that. Yeah, that's still just entering the star yard area. And that's the broken spear. Yep. And that's back entering the Yeah. Place. Oh, that's to use the security office. Yep. Yep. Oh. There's, There's an infinite. infinite. But look at the directory. I can't read with that player. Looks condominiums. Well, 1.6.1.7, so it's lower level. It doesn't tell level. anything. Well, that's by the Office of the Governor General, which was well, down here. Well, but yes, you are correct. The directory There's doesn't say nice anything useful. So it might be over here. Looks yeah, that's, that's where it is. Which is residential area, you are correct on that. Locked door? That's the governor's department. And 
the door. Yep. Random door. And further down. Yeah. Just keep going down. Keep going down? No, that's the kin, I think. It's only two hey, kids. I'm a senior around here. Best not be looking for trouble, right? No, I've it's seen the other some kid. karate videos. Oh, it is gonna be Mitch is the one that has the Dragon Force quest. Force book in my collection. He's not a kid, he's an adult. Sorry about that. He's a very young adult, but As soon as my boy Tai is old enough to work, we're out of here. That's just his mom. Yeah, it's there's another kid who lives near here. By his friend. Okay. Maybe it's further down? That's what I'm gonna have to check. Do you wanna hear the song I just made up? Can I? I'm a bunny, you're a bunny, he's a bunny, ha! Um, I'm so worried. Hi, I'm Renee, and I'm so bored. My mom and dad forgot to talk to people I don't know, so I thought maybe I could talk to you, and then I know you, and I won't be so bored. <sighs> I can't argue with that logic. Sure, we can talk. I'm Renee Nick. <sighs> See? Now we're friends, and my parents can't say I'm not allowed <laughs> to talk to you. Anyway, what do you want to talk about? Can't be much for kids to do around here. I like to play with Taiye sometimes. We come up with lots of games to play. Sometimes we listen to music or watch shows. But when he's not around, I like to draw. Ah, right. Sometimes I draw things. I remember and hearing give about this question. Since they're so mopey all the time, it makes them smile. Actually, want to help me? I just space do these things with space frog, but I can't go out right now. Can you help put them up for me? Sure. Tell me where to put them. Or actually, what's Space Frog? It's Space Frog from Outer Space. And he's a little frog character that I made up. I've never seen a real frog before, but I've uh -oh. seen pictures. Anyway, he lives in space and goes around to different planets helping people who are sad or need help. He's great. Your parents okay with this? Yeah, they've let me do it before. But they're working. So they can't help me do it, and they don't let me leave the condos without them. They say it's for my safety, but my friend Ty's mom sometimes lets him go out without her. I don't know. Uh. My mom says it does. She says her work friends like my drawings because they make them smile. She says it's because there aren't many kids here, and lots of people miss having kids around. Or it reminds them of their families. Sure. Yeah. You will? Thank you, thank you, thank you! People are gonna be so happy! Here's a bunch of copies of the space frog drawing I made. You can post them in places where you think people will see them. Thank you so much! Space frog! Okay. Do you have a child or children between the ages of 5 to 18? Enroll them in a United Colonies distance learning program today. Your children will be provided with routine programs teaching them art, I sure am glad you're helping me. Okay, now I will go ahead and save and exit. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and Space Frog will talk to you next time. Bye! I just know people are going to love those new drawings of Space Frog.